Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. You know, I'm going to give you a breakdown on how much money I saved on what I bought this week. I'm not going to do this every week because I think it isn't very cost effective on my time because it does take a lot of time to do this. But I want to show you, you get those sales papers and you look at what you can save. You would be surprised just seeing what's on sale that week at the store and what the sell paper has. When you stock up your pantry and your freezer, you can just look for sale items that you know you're going to use. This is very important when you're shopping in this market. Food keeps going up every time I go to the store. Gas keeps going up. It's really getting scary. So you better look for those sales. It's very important. Now here's just one example. This is Daisy Sour Cream. This is the sour cream that we like to buy. The small and the big is only $1 different and you get twice as much. So you might as well buy the bigger one because you can make it last a lot longer and you don't, sour cream does last. Then I went over to the cake section and they had these cake um, mixes on sale. They are $1.99 but if you bought two of them you got them for $3. So I bought two and I saved another dollar. Now I know I tell you to do this but then I turned around and the spice cakes uh, were not on sale but I went ahead and still bought two of them because everyone loved those pumpkin muffins I made so I said you know I'm gonna go ahead and spend the money for that because that will take care of snacks and I can get a lot of snacks out of that then they had the cheddar cheese biscuit mixes on sale for $1.59 I bought two of them that was like almost 50 cents savings there then they had the cornbread if you bought the big one on sale the smaller one was i think 2.99 or something and i could get the five pound one for uh 6.99 so it was a lot cheaper to go ahead and buy the five pounds it's going to last a lot longer and it'll probably last me most of the winter because we're not going to have cornbread every day but it's really good quality five pounds and the pumpkin was on sale again so that sort of offset the cost of those cake mixes because they weren't on sale but another thing I don't know if you guys noticed or not the pie ones have a lot more sugar they got 18 grams of sugar if you get just the pumpkin one just pumpkin doesn't have a lot of sugar and it's only five so that's why I bought the one with the five because I'm a diabetic and I've got to cut down on the sugar. I can put some artificial sweetener in there and that's what I do. And it tastes just fine to me and I've saved, uh, what would that be, like 12 or 13 grams of sugar by making my own pumpkin things. And they were two fifty nine, so they were like, uh, what, 20 cents a cheaper a can, so I bought a couple of them. The artificial sweetener I used is this particular brand. It was... I didn't need any, I had plenty, but because it was 75 cents off, I bought two of them. And so, when you see something like that, you buy it. Now, the soup was on sale also, normally it's $1.59 a can, they had it four for $5. They go on sale pretty often, there's no sense us spending a lot more money for soup when you know it's going to go on sale, at least once a month. So, I stocked up and bought some canned soup, and try to get a little ahead when I can. So that's what you need to do also, because I've totally stocked up my pantry and my freezer is getting almost full. I can stock up on something I didn't even need, but I may need it down the road. Now, eggnog is not something I needed, but I like it, so I went ahead and bought it. Now, one of them was one price at $3.99, and the one I bought was $2.99. As you can see, it's the same size and everything, and it was a dollar cheaper. You need to look at the doggone different brands. Now the eggs were on sale. They were $3.89 for two eight for three dozen. And normally a dozen and a half would have cost me $3.89. So that was a good buy on the eggs. So I stocked up. Butter, same thing. Sater Brothers brand was $2.99. But if I went over and bought a store uh, a name brand, butter, nothing wrong with the store brand. It was $4.99. So that's why you need to look at the different brands. Some of them are just as good quality and they taste good. This particular brand, even though it's upside down, farmland, 
is a great, great brand of bacon. I really love it, and I'm showing you the backside. Look at all the wonderful meat on this. It's really, really, really good quality. And I would have had to spend $7.99 for Farmer John. And Farmer John even has even more expensive bacon than that. Their center cut bacon is $9.99. I mean, that's a lot of money. I bought two pounds of bacon when I bought it because it was reasonable at the time. Not the cheap, but it was reasonable. And I loved the quality. And the bacon I bought had just as much meat on it as the Farmer's John. So, look at the quality, but don't always have to worry about a brand name. Then the cream cheese was another one. The Stater Brothers cream cheese double pack was on sale for $2.99. I bought two of them. And the regular uh, cream cheese uh, would have been $5.99 for the same weight. So you have to look at all that. Do you want to spend that much more? I don't want to spend that much more. And if the store brand is just as good as the you know the name brand then don't worry about it I find that you have to try out different products sometimes they're good sometimes they're not usually Stater Brothers brands are as good or better than a lot of name brands now V8 I do like it and it's cheaper to buy the six pack and that's five forty nine and if you buy one can of V8 it's a dollar nine I always buy it by the six pack because I'm not going to waste all my money then Cool Whip is the same way. Cool Whip is $2.99 and the store brand is $0.99. Cents. Tastes fine to me. Nothing wrong with it. Just saved myself a dollar. Then Marie Keller's had their uh, Dutch apple pies on sale for $6.99. I bought two of them for uh, Thanksgiving. So I'm trying to get a little bit of food ahead for that while I can find it. Egos was another thing that I was surprised. The store brand was about a dollar cheaper than the Egos. So, of course, I spent the extra money and bought the store brand and didn't have to spend so much money on the Egos. Look at the brands and see how they taste. Don't forget to check your sales paper before going in there, making sure you check everything that's on sale. Anytime you see something on clearance or markdown or sell for that week. If it's something you like to eat, try to pick it up while you can. We have to save money any way we can. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And please, if you're not already following me, think about joining in. We try to put something new and different up each week, my dear friends, and we do appreciate you so much, all your love and support. Remember, there's all kinds of things in the store on sale. Always try to get your food built up ahead in your pantry for you can look for those sales for you can keep living a little less money each week because the prices just keep going up. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy and Debbie.